Hello, I'm Brooks Tucker and I'm with Bella Tucker Designs and today I'm going to show you how to do an opal glaze. First we need to start out with uh, our base cover, color. Oh, there it is. I like that color. It's a color I use a lot. That with dark browns look awesome. Alright, make sure you have a nice nap roller. One that's not going to shed on you. And here I go, base color. They usually want to go in the same direction too, because if you cross, you know, you'll kind of see it. It, it depends on the, the sheen though too. Like if you, if you get a flat, it doesn't matter, but it, this is like a satin, so you got to be careful. Satin anything above. You want to watch which way you go with the, the roller. And just make sure you get all the spots. And this is pretty good coverage. So I'll see you tomorrow if it's if I need to put another coat. Usually you're good with at least two coats. Well, there's that, and um, tomorrow I'll put an opal glaze over it and show you how that's done. And today is day two of opal glazing. I've already poured my product into the tray. Do a brush, and I'm going to roll one side, so just to see the variation of what a glaze looks like. Just sparse it. It's real easy. It just goes on real easy. Gives it that shimmer. Real easy. Yeah, just make sure you can get a full coverage there. And that would be the rolling on the oval glaze. Now for the one that's more strenuous on you, if you want to work out on a big wall. And do all your strokes in one direction. Unless you want want a different variation, if you want like a crisscross cross pattern or it just depends on what your taste is like. But I'm just gonna go in a, in a one gentle direction. And this stuff dries pretty quickly. So try to get it on there as quick as you can. Yeah. Looks good. This is Brooks Tucker and I'm with Bella Tucker and you can, if you need more information about oval glazing, you can contact us at www.bella-tucker.com. -E -L -L Thanks.